and Swan confirmed that there was a $1.2 million transaction uh, worth of Bitcoin going out and they stopped it. Um, they said that they stopped it before the interview was released, mm -hmm. but um, you know, whether that's true or not, I don't think we'll ever know, but, uh, but I hope that, you know, I've, I've heard from others that, that there's been a lot of people contacted saying that they were about to send money to these guys. So I don't know the sheer volume of people that have contacted me or let me know that either the interview helped them or that these guys are, you know, actually took their money. It indicates to me that there's quite a bit of validity to, to the amounts of money that they're claiming to steal. And uh, I think that's, you know, um, Renee, Renee contacted me and I said something in the like, pick art, Renee, uh, the lightning developer. And I said something in their interview uh, about how, like, you know, way back in the day, like if, if you're thinking in Bitcoin, that uh, thinking in Bitcoin for me, like you think, oh, like, you know, you have one Bitcoin, that's not that much. Or you have two Bitcoin, that's not that, you know, but these kids are thinking in dollars, right? So they're like, you have a hundred thousand dollars. And, and, uh, and I had to apologize because like Renee's like, well, I, you know, like, he's like, I, I came later, you know, like those, those numbers are big for me too. <laughs> I, was, I was like, yeah, I mean, they're big for me too, though. I, I come from, I'm a, I'm a former poor kid. You know what I mean?